Today we're going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts and how it's really traveled with me throughout my childhood and adulthood at this point. Welcome to the second podcast of CisNerd. And today I really just want to talk about Kingdom Hearts because it's the 15th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. You'll probably end up seeing this after the 15th anniversary, but today is March 22nd, 8, <laughs> excuse me, I'm tired, 2017, and it has been 15 years since Kingdom Hearts was released. I remember, we're going to start off just with all the titles that I remember, Kingdom Hearts 1, I received that, and this is only because I remember wanting the PlayStation 2 so badly for this game. This was my main game. I got other games for Christmas, but December 25th of 2002, I wanted Kingdom Hearts. I was looking forward to this game. I got other games. I got things... But I remember that holographic cover for Kingdom Hearts 1 for PlayStation 2 when I got that. I was so happy. But, you know, it was just so funny. I remember just getting the PlayStation 2 and saying, I really, really... I, I, Because I remember, I got the PlayStation 2 before I got Kingdom Hearts in terms of the order that I received the gift. So I remember just going crazy when I saw... When I saw that, I was hoping after I saw the PlayStation 2, I would get the, the game Kingdom Hearts, and it, and it came in my hands. So, to start off on why that was so special, um, I really felt like they were targeting... It was really cool to, like, the Disney movies that you watched and grew up with as I was younger, <laughs> thinking I was nine years old, you know, I was younger I was I was younger than that growing up with other Disney movies. So so seeing these combined together with fighting with Sora, Donald and Goofy, I, I, I just and of course I didn't know who this was, so I saw a boy with Donald and Goofy, and I saw them going to the different Disney worlds, including Nightmare Before Christmas, including all of the ones that I watched when I was even younger than nine. I was super, super excited to get my hands on this as a little kid and quite frankly i am really excited to go back into it i got my hands today on the kingdom hearts 1.5 and 2.5 bundle which includes kingdom hearts 1 so i can relive the memories but in better in better quality uh which i thought the graphics were amazing back then i remember getting a tv too for 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 my um it was a crt tv i was so happy to get that little tv that i could have in my room because it had been banned, I was not allowed to have a TV in my room prior to the age of nine. And then when I turned ten, it was it was great. I mean, I, the 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 PlayStation Two really was my childhood. <laughs> so so, anyways, Kingdom Hearts was such a big deal. It it just it mixed the Disney worlds. It made me feel like I was watching partially a movie. And I just remember on Christmas Day playing that intro, play I playing through the intro watching the graphics i was just so thrilled it was such an it was just a leap in bounds to me i was just so happy i really 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 hope to feel the same way with kingdom hearts 3 i i just i just love that feeling i remember that feeling so so that was kingdom hearts 1 and i just i loved it going through the disney characters it was one of the very few games i actually beat because even even now, even to this time, I haven't beaten as many games as Kingdom Hearts. And I beat Kingdom Hearts 1, I beat Kingdom Hearts 2, I beat Kingdom Hearts 2.8, I, for the most part, beat Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. But anyways, going forward, that was Kingdom Hearts 1. I just loved it. I loved the idea of it. I loved collecting things. I loved finding the Dalmatians. I loved visiting the different Disney worlds. I loved the villains. I loved everything about it. I loved... I, I really love this game. So, anyways, other than just reminiscing on how much the game was awesome, I also remember looking online at Kingdom Hearts and l waiting for Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, we're talking four years in the making, and I want to double-check what year Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories came out, because I was still looking online for Kingdom Hearts 2. It was either after Chain of Memories... Or before Chain of Memories, I was looking online because I saw the secret ending. And and I remembered... Okay, so that came out in the year... I think it came out in Japan a lot earlier. But in the United States, it got a release date of 2004. But even in 2003, I was on the internet. And I was just like looking. I was like... 
I was looking for anything I could find about Kingdom Hearts 2 because I was really excited about it. And it was, e- like I said, it was either after after uh, Chain of Memories or before. And I saw that they got a, that Japan got all these other other uh, parts for Kingdom Hearts freaking 1. They had 1.5 and I was pissed. I was not happy at all that Kingdom Hearts 1.5 um, or, uh, excuse me, Final Mix, I should say, had all this other content and we weren't receiving any of it in the United States. I was not happy. I was not a happy kid when I found that out. So I, I was just doing all the sorts of research that I could on, on finding it. I was, I, was a, I was really into it. And I also remember when I got Kingdom Hearts for the Game Boy Advance. And... That was a little different experience, but I, I actually ended up getting into it. Um, I liked the fact that it was on my portable system. We'll start there. The cards were very different, but once you got used to it, it was really cool. Um, unfortunately, I did not beat that game, and I ended up watching a lot of the videos that, that they had for it and kind of putting together the lore through that. So my goal is obviously now that I have... All of the games on my PlayStation 2, including Rechain of Memories, I'm going to play that. I'm, I'm just going to figure it out and play through it. So, that's Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Kingdom Hearts 2 was really cool. I, I loved it. I really liked the game. I just missed the fact that they didn't have Trinities in the game and you couldn't find the Dalmatians. It was totally different. But they had the drive forms. They had the weirdest... Uh, the, the weird thing was that intro. For, for the second one, and I understand why they did it. it. It fit perfectly with the lore, but in my opinion, for for the um, for the introduction, the best one was Kingdom Hearts 1 for the intro. But anyways, going forward, I love that game. I just remember not liking... I really didn't like when they revisited... Um, I want to say Atlantis... Uh, man, Atlantis... It, it was the um, Little Mermaid world, and world, uh, it was just... It was not fun. <laughs> it was it was one of those really, really, really girly, girly worlds, and I was like, ugh, it was just terrible. And there was singing involved, and I just, I think it was Atlantis, um, and it was just, yeah, it was it wasn't it wasn't a fun world to revisit. We'll just put it that way. I was happy to get that world done and over with. But as far as everything else was concerned, it was it, it was a lot quicker from my memory. And it's been a long time since I played that, so I would be playing that too. Um, all right, now we're going to go into, I think, Birth by Sleep. Because I never got any of the other games. I never got the... Let's see here. I never got 358 over two days for the DS. Never had that. And I was more interested in the birth by sleep which was not released in 2010 was it released in 2010 oh okay really okay that's interesting i didn't i didn't know it was released seven years ago okay all right well that's cool it released was it was released a year before i graduated high school and I, I do remember playing this, and I actually liked this a lot. The characters were great. Um, uh, Terra Aqua and uh, God, why, Ventus were, were just great. Um, it was a good game. I, I loved it. It was the first PSP game that I had. I thought it was way better than the, obviously, um, Bir- uh, not Birth by Sleep. It was better than um, Chain of Memories, and I really got into it. And that game was really fun. I almost finished that game. I just didn't finish it as Aqua. I finished it as um, Terra and Ventus, but I didn't finish it as Aqua. So that was that was that game. I remember playing for hours on the game, um, just at night and not getting enough sleep, as I'm doing right now, doing this podcast about it. But that was Birth by Sleep, and and I don't remember specifically. If there was anything I really thought was cool about it, I just played it for hours. I, I did like the Disney characters. You know what's funny about Birth by Sleep, at least to me, is that Birth by Sleep, maybe it was just harder or something, but it felt longer than... Um, it, it felt longer, at least from my memory, than 2.8, which 
will be our next game we, we talk about because that was the one I had right after that. And I, I have I have some unfortunate things to say about 2.8 only because of certain things, but I I, will, I got positive things to say about it as well. Um, so so Kingdom Hearts Coded was um, nothing I had that was released for the mobile phone, and then they released Recoded for um, the Nintendo DS, and I didn't have that. Um, so so let's let's jump let's keep going. Um, the re-releases were cool. I had them for PlayStation 3. I thought they were great. I didn't have any issues. I, I didn't play through Kingdom Hearts 2. I remember selling my PlayStation 3 and knowing that they were going to release these, re-release them on PlayStation 4 at some point, so that's why I sold it for the PS4. And they, here I am today, having 1.5 and 2.5. And they, um, they were fine. I didn't have any issues with them. Not, not Nothing too memory, except for that it was an HD. I had already emulated them prior to that, so it wasn't too big of a deal to me. Okay, now jumping into today, as far as memories. So, so oh yeah, <laughs> prior to this today stuff, I, I'm jumping around. I did have Kingdom Hearts for the 3DS. I did get a th- 2DS for the mere fact of playing Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Um, and I didn't play, make it through, unfortunately. I, uh, made through part of it, but I didn't, didn't play it through, and again, I figured they would eventually re- release these on the PlayStation 4, and I was not wrong. Okay. Now we're gonna jump into current day stuff. Okay. 2.8. Played through Kingdom Hearts, uh, Dream Drop Distance, which is what was on 2.8, I sh- and I probably should say it was Dream Drop Distance on the 3DS as well. Um, it was such a great experience on the TV for the PS4, and I really liked it. I loved the 60 frames per second. I really thought it was really well rendered. I thought the graphics were great for the fact that this is on a TV versus what was on a 3DS, I really thought they put their time and effort into actually making a really good port out of it. Now time for some bad news. Point 0.8 Birth by Sleep, which aka I, I haven't finished that either, unfortunately. You would think I'd finish it by now. I, I really haven't gotten into it, and, and let's talk about why. It's not due to the storyline, it's not due to bad graphics. It's just due to the fact that the graphics are so damn good on the game that the PlayStation 4 is having a really hard time in rendering 30 frames per second, which is really pathetic. I don't know why they didn't design this game. Maybe it's only certain PlayStations, but mine just doesn't run that well. There are frame drops, there are stuttering, which takes away from the story. I'd rather have worse graphics, slightly worse graphics, on it and experience the story and then have the slight the better graphics that are on the PlayStation 4 Pro for the Pro version and enjoy the story um i was just disappointed because you'd go and you'd walk in, in the environment and it would just freeze and stutter and it would go down and that takes away from the fact that i'm in a game that i'm playing as a character i now remember that the controller's in my hand i i I, I just, yeah, I, I'm i too upset, unfortunately, about that. On the other hand, like I said, the other game ran really smoothly. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, buttery smooth. Um, I mean, three Dream Drop Distance, buttery smooth. So so that was was those series. So I, I just, I, I do want to say, um, if anybody is listening to this at all, thank you for listening, and I want to thank Square Enix for really developing such a really good storyline behind Disney characters that you just really wouldn't wouldn't think would be would be developed uh, in terms of in terms of how advanced this is in terms of how violent this game is really it's it's more violent than you would think for a Disney game and it really isn't Disney it's Disney but it's it's just it's really, really captivating. I, I could do way the hell more topics on Kingdom Hearts, and I might in the future. This was just my memories on playing this, what I like doing. God, I spent, I've spent hours playing this game. I've spent days playing these games. I, I mean, in my lifetime, I just, I, I really like these games. 
So, anyways, reminiscing about it is great, but I think I'm going to at least give 40 minutes to playing this game, uh, playing 1.5 and 2.5. I'm going to be doing a YouTube video on my playing tomorrow, actually, which you might see today if you're listening to this podcast today. So, stay tuned. Go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hacker. Or in the show notes, you'll you'll see my my page, and you can check out cisnerd.net. Feel free to follow me on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com slash cisnerdtech, Twitter at cisnerdtech, and I believe I am on my own website. You can go to cisnerd.net to get to it. I think I said that. And I hope you guys have a really good day. If you guys have anything that you remember about Kingdom Hearts and want to put something in, send me an email. Um, I will feature it on a video. I just am starting to develop my channel a little bit further and I'm doing podcasts. So thank you guys for listening and gals for listening. I just have to say, I just hope you guys have a great night. Thank you guys so much and everyone for listening and take it easy.